Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys, we're going to learn how to use C function arguments or parameters inside our function. So from the previous tutorial, we have learned how to define and declare our function inside our C program. And of course, we have learned how to use the basic syntax to create a function and implemented a simple function that could add two numbers okay so as i've said guys in this video we're going to focus on the function arguments or function parameters so while calling a function the arguments can be passed to a function in two ways so there there are two ways on how we could pass the parameters or the arguments into the function so the first one will be call by value and the second one is call by reference okay so in call by value way the actual parameter is passed to a function and then new memory area created for that particular past parameters and then it can be used only within that function and the actual parameters cannot be modified in the call by value uh, way of you know passing the the argument into our function while call by reference so instead of copying a variable an address is passed to a function as parameter and then uh, we could use the address operator which is the ampersand symbol uh, i know it, you're already familiar with this so address operator is used in the parameter of the called function and of course the changes in the function reflect the change of the original values so we could uh, understand this better if we try to implement our function by you know creating a simple project or simple application that could demonstrate the call by value or call by reference so first let's try to create a program that would pass the argument as or it could call by value so the first thing that we're going to need is of course to uh, it's actually the same with the program or i mean function that we have created from the previous tutorial but the difference is that in this particular video we're going to use parameter or argument so the first um, variable that we're going to declare here is the answer so the type is int and then we have the variable um, name num1 so the value is 5 and then int num2 and then the value is 10 okay and of course guys we could declare the function so for example we could um, create the function right after this closing curly brace of our main function so the first thing of course is the return type and in this case int and then the name of our function which is addition and we could say here int a and int b basically it means that this particular function could accept two parameter int b and uh, int a okay and then in here we could return the value or the total value of these two parameters so a plus b okay and of course guys we could declare the function right here so we could you know add the function declaration here function declaration so we could say here int addition and then this particular function is going to take two parameters int num1 and int num2 so as you can see here guys this is only the function declaration okay and this is the function um, definition function definition again this is function declaration declaration and function definition so now we could try to call our function by value so for example we could say here 
um, answer and then equals um, addition which is the method or the function that we have created here and then we could pass along the values of num1 and num2 okay so let me explain this first for you so it would be clearer for you so we have here the parameter num1 num2 as i've said in call by value the actual parameters cannot be modified because num1 and num2 is it won't change um, even if we you know change the parameters here the int a and b so the value of num1 and num2 would not change even if we try to modify this int a and b inside our addition function so the actual parameter is passed to a function and then new memory will be created for our parameters e uh, int a and int b, uh, int b okay and of course um, we could display here the result so print f and then of course the statement the addition or we could say the total of two numbers is and then the format specifier percent d and then the variable answer okay and then we could you know clean and build our application or, or build and run and it should display the output something like this the total of two numbers is 15 okay so you get the point this is the calling of function by value okay now if we want to try to call a function by reference as i've said we're going to use the ampersand symbol so ampersand symbol or it is the address operator and we're going to use that in our parameter of the called function so let's uh, let's try to implement a function that you know could call by reference and you should see by now how you how uh, the call by reference and call by value is different so the same thing we're going to declare the uh, method here the return type is int and then the name is addition and then it's going to take two parameters with type int okay and then we could uh, also use this int answer and then the same value for example and now guys instead of just using this num1 and num2 we could add the address operator the ampersand symbol or the address operator in C programming so basically guys uh, we're sending or we're passing the ad uh, address of this particular variable into our function so so whenever we change this um, value in inside our function it's going to reflect the value of our num1 and num2 okay so um, we have here the ampersand or address operator and then we call the um, function right here and then display the answer and of course we need to add the um, asterisk symbol for this uh, variable here or the argument and then um, one for the other variable b so this means that it is the operator that is used as a pointer to a variable so it's going to point the address to that particular um, value of num1 or num2 so of course we need to add this also here and of course for our variable num2 okay and then as I've said, if we want to change the value of num2 here in, inside our function, we could do that. And it's going to reflect the changes of this num2 and num1 variable. Okay. And then, of course, we could still use the asterisk symbol here. And let's try to run our program for now. So build and run. And it's going to answer or it's going to the output this way. The total of two numbers is 15. 
Okay, so let's try to modify the um, num1 and num2. Okay, for example, inside this far, uh, particular function, we're going to change the value of our variable a. So instead of 5, it's going to like maybe 6. Okay, so we could do that by using this particular um, variable argument. We could uh, add here the um, variable a and then we could say 6 then semicolon, semicolon at the end and we could try to display the value of our a. So the value of a and then percent d and it should, you know, the variable A correspond to the variable num1, right? So, we could copy and paste this. So, notice that num1 equals to 5 here, okay? So, let's see what's the output of this. So, build and run our program. So, as you can see, we have here the, the output. The total of two numbers is 16 and the value of A is 6, but as you can see here, A corresponds to the num1, right? Num1. So we have here num1 equals to 5. And then we change the value of num1 by using the, the reference of variable A. And then we set it to 6. That's why we're getting 6 here. And then the total of our addition is 6. Okay? So I think that's all there is to it, guys, for this tutorial. And if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And again, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.